is up everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Courtney but I go by Giselle Sims so you guys we are here back with another episode of single single father drugs and money yes I added drugs and money in here because he is a drug dealer and we do got to get this money so just a time span really quick because we did uh, speed up his life a little bit as you guys can see this is a little different background than what is usual um, so our guy right here, Trayvon, he, is it Trayvon or Tavon? I think his name is Tavon. Sorry, y'all. Uh, he basically, um, just got an apartment with his baby girl. He was able to afford a one bedroom, so he is here. We are here doing a do. We had to get out of our mother's house because she started to do too much and, he didn't want to really want to bring his clients to his mom's house uh, for him to make money. And on top of that, he did get caught <laughs> from his mom and she was not having that. She said, you got to go. You got to get out of my house, figure it out. If you need me to keep my granddaughter, I'll keep her. But you need to get out. You are not about to sell drugs in my house. So he said, forget all of that. He, you know, left or whatever. He found him a nice little apartment. Uh, I believe he pays only 400 a week. Um, and yeah, and him and his baby girl right here, which she's actually sleeping right now, but, um, yeah, so he got his little spot. And on top of that, he's up and coming, y'all. We got a whole dispensary that I just built last night. Um, I'm going to give y'all a tour of the apartment and also give you a tour of the dispensary. If you want the dispensary in your gallery, well, on the gallery, please comment down below and let me know and I will do so. I have my neighborhood park already on my um, page. I'm going to have my origin account down and below in the description box so you guys can go and download that to your game if you want that. So we're going to go ahead and get into this house tour. Okay, so we are over here in San Manchuno in these apartments. I don't remember what apartments these are called, but this was the most apartment we can afford. So, yes. Um, and we are right over here in this one. So, as you come in, we have our shoes right here. Let me turn this down. <clears throat> okay, this is our little closet right here. Um, and then in this room is our bedroom. So, we have, uh, his shoes and stuff right here. Jayla's potty, our laundry hampers, and money, of course, because we get in money, we get in paper. And this is his bed and his little stand. Uh, I hate when it does that in these damn apartments. And then on this side, we managed to make this Jayla side, which I don't know why there's a stinky bowl up there. But we also have like our shampoos and stuff like that. Some shoes for Jayla, and it's so cute because I made them small so they could be like taller shoes, you know. Her dad is fly, he's fresh, so he gotta keep his daughter fly and fresh. Um, so since this apartment is very small, like we managed to put her bed in here, some toys in here, she has her clothes, his clothes are in the closet. So yeah, they managed to make this part work. And I was super shocked because Jayla actually went to the bathroom by herself, and I don't know, I guess she's trying to teach herself. Ever since we put her in daycare, she's been trying to do so much stuff by herself. Uh, so, this is our little walkway. We have our thermostat. Through this door is our bathroom slash laundry room. Uh, we have a stand-up shower. If you are wondering where we bathe Jayla, Jayla gets bathed. <laughs> Jayla gets bathed in the sink. We wash her up in the sink because she's not old enough to take the shower. But luckily, EA, EA had upgraded and added where you can bathe toddlers in the sink. So through this way is our living room area. Nice and cozy and chill, to be honest. Uh, we have our heater, Jayla's uh, high chair, all that good stuff. Some trophy little things going on. And yeah, and her toy, her dollhouse and... Some toys for her, our treasure treasure chest, our gaming system, then pictures of ourselves, and then just pictures of our mom and ourselves, and just a box of extra shit that we did not unpack yet, because this apartment is not finished. 
Um, then we have our little bar area right here. Love it, love it, love it. Then do through this way is our kitchen. And I love the kitchen. Even though it's small, I really like the kitchen and the layout of the kitchen. I love it. It's nice. Um, our kitchen. And the best part of the apartment, y'all, which some of y'all might be like, you could have made that a little room. But no, I think the room, the way that Jayla and uh, Trayvon shared that room, or Tavon, whatever the hell his name is, because I did not go back. Hold on. I'll tell y'all. Okay. Tavon. The way that Tavon did the room for him and Jayla, I think it's perfect for the both of them. Um, it's because Jayla still goes to her parent. I mean, Jayla still goes to her mom's house from time to time. So we do share her. We don't just keep her over here. So she does have a room over there with her mom. All right. So in this room, best room of all is his little weed area where he, oops, where he grows his plants for home. So he can smoke them and sell it if he really wanted to. So this is our apartment and I love it so much. It's very um, cozy. So as we can see, our neighbor over here is getting it on, being loud and I don't understand because he uh, is supposed to be talking to one of, well talking to her we're going to pound on his door because you just woke my baby up. But yeah, he is supposed to be talking to the girl across the hall from him. One of the girls. He is not. He's a free man. Not with the book in your hand still. Put that book down. He's a free man. But he just, you know, he doing what he wants to do. Where is your clothes? Okay, so this is Drika. One of the girls uh, that he's talking to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and complain about the noise. She needs to be quiet. Go complain to her. And we're gonna need her to fix that. We not going. You're not about to have a tantrum. Parenting, yeah. Just discipline her behavior. Let's be firm with it. Tell her to not smash the dollhouse. Like I understand you were angry, but no. Okay, that was crazy of her to do that. Yeah, like, keep the noise down. You just woke my baby up. She's like, I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. Well, try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know. Good neighbor. Letting us know. Who is us? Because last time I checked, you were supposed to be the only one living in there. Okay, Jayla. Jayla, really? At this point, you are doing a bit too much, okay? You need to stop what you're doing now. Oh, my God. I understand. She's tired, so we're going to read her to sleep. Daddy duties, but oh, my God. She is going off. I can't even get this plate from right here. Why? You know, she's sleeping there. Y'all can't even see her. But um, so tomorrow we are going to be going to our dispensary. I'm going to show you guys his, his dispensary. And we're going to do some shit over there. So when we went to our, we were about to leave our dispensary at, at the shop. I'm going to just call it the shop. And, uh... The SWAT team started to come. Yeah, the SWAT team came and basically tried to lock us up, I'm assuming. Luckily, I had the door locked. So, today, I'm going to have to probably figure out how... Well, to, no, not today, but tomorrow, I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to do this. Because I don't need him to get locked up. So, what happened was, I had left some stuff... Um some of his weed and stuff at the shop because I didn't want um if he was to get locked up like if they were to come to his house or whatever I didn't want him to get all his drugs taken away so we're gonna go ahead and try to repair that I don't think he needs all this weed in here with him so we're gonna just put some of our stuff in our inventory um yeah because we have a lot of weed in here and that's we can't do that um 
So because we're going to be going to the shop, I'm going to just leave all his weed at home. He doesn't even need to take that with him. So I think we are good to go on that. Our plants is over here looking luxurious. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. And hopefully when we repair it, it stays this small. Okay. Yay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. And I'll see you guys when we get to the shop. So why did our little, one of our little side jumps just text us and say, Hey Tavon, it's me, Lauren. Do you want to go on a, out on a date? Retail Target store. Like, she knows that he's a drug dealer and she wants to spend all his money. Um, no thanks. Okay, so we made it to his shop, to the dispensary. Um, and we are in the city of San Manchuno. We wanted to make sure we stay in the city area. Uh, because we have more customers that come out this way probably so this is what it's looking like I built this so if you guys do want it in the gallery please let me know in the comments um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take y'all in so this is our dispensary guys so over here we have a seating area for the customers that they just want to sit this is our timer to let us know when our plants are done Took this picture with the gnome. <laughs> uh, then over here is just like our hookah little lounge that he come over here and smoke sometimes. And we have another wee picture of our plants. Of course, hand sanitizer when you walk in, put on that hand sanitizer. Uh, so this is just our little area where we sell all our stuff. These are not real, so they can't really smoke it, but they can buy the bongs. They can buy those too, just for like, you know, decoration. And these are real. This is the weed that they can buy to smoke. <laughs> and I think that's why the SWAT team came. I don't know. Uh, then we have our roll-ups and stuff. The blunts. All that good stuff. And then we got some weed cookies. Um, and these are just display to let them know what we got in stock and all that good stuff. Then we got our uh, edible foods that we're going to be making. So we made some sushi last night before we left here. Um, and yeah, then through here, no customers can come through this way. This is only for him and, well, the household and employers. So this is just our kitchen area for our employers to eat and for him to eat whenever he's hungry. We only have one employer right now, but we're probably going to uh, get another one soon. Um, he needed to take that damn trash out. I told him to take that trash out. Our employer is Landon. Y'all will meet him later. And then in here is where we grow. Look at all of this, y'all. Look at all of this. Nice and beautiful. Um, so, yeah. And then we have our treasure chest right here, too, where we put stuff in there as well. So, we don't get caught up. Um... So yeah guys, this is the dispensary and um, <laughs> honestly, I know he needs to get some things done in here. So let's have him come in here and I need to go to his, uh, the store thing and I need to check our points. So we got our points that we do have, um, we have 300, so we gotta get to 350 to do an additional employer. So I'm not gonna do anything right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the store. Uh, because it is 150 in the afternoon. Let me check. Make sure our plants are good. Do we have to water them? I'm sorry, Lauren. You can't come right now. We're at work. Cancel that. Sorry. All right. So Landon is still wearing this ugly as uniform, and we need to definitely change him into something else. Uh, this is not what we gave you. Sorry, you're not wearing this to work. We're not doing this. Uh, let's go ahead and just put on his everyday wear like we planned for him to wear. So this is Landon. This is one of our employers. Um, we're just going to assign a task for him to do. He's going to actually, I'm going to have him ring up customers today. We'll do all the stocking and all that stuff. Bring up the customers. And, oh, we got one of these on the damn floor. Oh, no. Okay, and I'm going to have him, do I want to do uncured or let's just harvest them all. Harvest all. 
Nobody likes our hookah that we have, but um, are you ringing up customers today? Are you are you are you doing the, the job that I asked you? Okay, cool. Just need to make sure because can't have you. Um, let's go ahead and have him change his clothes too. But we can't have you um, not ringing up customers. We need to bring this money in. Let's go ahead and put on. Let's put this on. Okay. And then I'm going to have him actually come over here and talk to some of the customers. Um, okay. I'm mad about, okay, not um, myself coming in here. Okay, let's just go ahead and greet the customer. He needs to do what he's supposed to be doing. Do your job. Okay, Landon, please. So I'm going to have him. Can we make some edibles? Can we not? Oh, wait, I got to go to the stove. <laughs> Let's see if we got, we have any. Um. Oh, okay. So we, we can make half-baked potatoes. Okay, let's do that. Make some half-baked potatoes after you greet the customer. Everybody's piled up in one little fucking crowd. Like, Shop around, you guys. Shop around. So let's have him do that. Okay. Nobody, everybody's just standing around. Y'all don't want to buy nothing. Y'all don't want to buy anything. Um. So the dispensary, the weed and stuff came from basement of mods. So if you guys want this in your gallery, in your game, uh, you will have to download basement of uh, mods in order to get everything that's in here as far as the weed thing. Okay, so we're done with this. Is it excellent? Okay, excellent quality. Let's add that over here to our little freezer section. And we're going to set that for sale. Uh, can we make any more? How many more do we have? We need to get probably some more. Um, what else can we make? All right, we already have that sushi. Oh, we can make weed pancakes. All right, make some weed pancakes too. We need to put those on display as well for you guys to buy. Okay, not so right. So right, about to buy some weed. Oh snap! Okay, he over here spraying. I asked you to clean. All right, ring up this customer. Ring up myself. My sim self. Ring her up. Come on, Landon, do your job. Do your job. Oh, my God. Landon, you're going to blow me if you don't. Okay, he's going to go do it now. Yeah, because we need to definitely make money in here. And we also need to um, make good business, have good business in here. So please bring these customers up. Okay, so Lauren just bought something for 225 Perfection. I feel like he's not moving fast enough, so I'm going to have to ring up these customers as well. Landon, you're about to be fired if you don't get to it. Like, get it together, like, now. We're losing out on customers. We are definitely losing out on customers. Oh, my God. Let's put this in here, too, and set for sale. All right, um... Who else needs to be rung up? Okay, so we're going to have to tell... Oh, he did. He got him a plate. He made sure he got him some. Okay, so can we make tell him to like... Oh, wait. Manage Landon. Okay. Um, let's just... Uh, check up on him he's lacking a little bit you need to definitely get things done in a better order we do not need our customers not wanting to buy from us or to lose out on uh clients why why did you just sit this in here you need to get it together put that in the fridge Okay, people are just sitting around. 
Okay, so we have a, a customer right now that's ready to buy. So let me go over here and ring this customer up because he's not doing his job. So. Okay, see how he's doing really quick. And then he said, I like your hair. I just have one request. Could I help you redecorate? Uh, What is wrong with our shop? Are you coming for us? Wow. There's nothing wrong with our shop. Go around, Rekina. Okay. All right, we got another customer. Wait, where you at? All right. Let's ring you up, too. Okay, we making money. Okay. The money is coming in. Okay, so usually we close the shop at like 10 o'clock, so we're going to close it at 10 today. Uh, people are calling me to buy drugs, and we're not home right now, so we don't have it on us. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have Landon. He needs to, like, at least ask questions, answer the customer's questions. Like, please. Answer the questions. And I swear, I can't wait until I actually get my, um... <sighs> Let's see what this says. What's up, Tavon? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Just say okay. Ayana would like to come over and buy some weed. No, Ayana, sorry. I feel like Ayana set him up. She, when I was close, I closed the store and she was outside of the shop. In not even 10 seconds, the SWAT team was coming for him. So, we're not going to trust that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close the shop up uh, so we can go ahead and head home. Um, so far, we made a pretty good investment today. We made $413. So we sold four items. So our net profit is $413. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have. And please... Feel free to comment down below and let's chat in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think so far of this series. Uh, how dare you walk away from me? But yeah, okay. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.